here's what they're going to do. They're going to do nothing. They're going to do nothing. And you could say they're playing the cat and mouse game because you want to keep the price down. You don't want to act like, hey, we're in this thing. Uh, phones are open. We're ready to make deals. We're ready to pay because you want to keep the price down, right? They're going to look at this and say, okay, we're cruising right now. We're above expectations. They may actually sell. They may be a playoff team, potentially sell, and get those three young kids up here and say, because we're building for the future. See what we're doing here? We're, we're, we're going to have Casas back at full go next year. I know Casas is back, coming back. Um, but we're going to have him. He'll be good. We're going to get Trevor Story back at some point. So our team and the way it's going to be built for next year, this is all feeding into it. We, we, we like where we're at right now. You know, they're looking at the graphs. They're looking at the data, as they like to call it. But, like, the data is different. This is not the last couple of years where you stood. You go back to the trade deadline, and I think them saying we haven't made a decision yet. Listen, most teams are that way with the trade deadline now or with the all-star huh? break and how the MLB draft mm-hmm. is. It's a two-week crunch until the deadline. They didn't want to buy. They didn't believe in this team. They viewed it as a developmental year. So they're going to let this thing play out as far as they possibly can before their hand is forced. But this is a 48% chance to make yeah. the playoffs, and you're holding the third wild yeah, card right now, that's great. gaining on the second. The you, last two years at the trade yep. deadline, you had a 24% yep. chance and a 24.6% data. chance. Yeah, data. This is different, but the data is what Breslow believes in. You are in a different space than you have been. If you play hard the next three weeks, they are going to have to buy to some yeah, level. Yeah, but that's great. that's great if Breslow believes in it, but what does the owner believe in? The, the, the owner told the fan base to be smarter. And that's where you start okay. to have the combo. This do is they great do, because Buster right, only... Like, you, you can throw fan... Yeah, percentage your data boy. I know long, your data right? boy. You watch this team every minute. It doesn't you're, you're Mr. Data. matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't I'm, matter. I'm preparing for nothing. I am preparing for nothing. Because the truth is, if they thought the team could make it and they actually were interested in making it, that's the key part. They're a fun team. I, get, I give it to you. They're a fun team to watch. Whether or not they're capable is not factoring into their equation. It's about their desire. Do they want to go for it or not? They're certainly capable. They've proven they're capable of being a playoff team. You don't need any more evidence. It's July 8th. They would have to completely crap themselves over the next three weeks, okay, and lose 80% of their games for you to look at them and say, oh, we were wrong about them. They could play 500 ball between not, now and the deadline, yeah. and they would still be worthy of investing in because you've seen enough from this team to know, oh, there's something to this team. There's something there. This what? team has something going for it. Why, why can't we you know put it, that? This why, team looks different from the last two teams. Why, can, why can't you put it out there and inject a little excitement into the fan base that, hey, things are different now. We understand that. You know, I, different time, different story. And I know before I left for vacay, they were talking about, okay, going back to that Verdugo game against the Yankees, right? That was the turning point. Yeah, okay, things are different now. Let's start putting it out there. Get people excited. Get the team excited. Get them want to be hungry. You know, Cork could be a different guy. You give him something. Like, oh, I'd go and try to win the girl back. And you, listen, it may be 1%, it may be 2%, but I'd girl? take that shot. Alex Cora, is there any way you could maybe change his mind or even give him an ounce of hope that he's willing to have a convo with you? Because I do think when we're talking the percentage points, they do have meaning here. If you're talking two times the odds you had. Now, if John Henry goes last year, like he said, and told Heimblum, you can't add any money. Too bad but that was at a 24% chance. You can do what you need to do here without giving up just about anything serious. You have $13 million until the first luxury tax. You did it in 2021. You were in somewhat of a similar situation in terms of your financial flexibility. It's not going to take the world just to give them a little boost. You can sell everyone on Casas and Hendricks and that being the main thing, but all you really need is a fourth starter, just someone to help eat innings here, give a break to Houck and Crawford. You saw how good Crawford looked while he was fresh. I don't think they're ruling that out. I just don't see them as major buyers. You're not going to get Garrett Crochet, but will you get marginally better? I think you could do 2021 again. Yeah, and that's okay, but it's not really going to win anybody over. It's not going to have anybody convinced that they're truly invested in this team in, in the near future. It just won't. It won't be enough. I mean, they're having a hard time getting people interested in this team right now as is, and they've been more relevant than they've been in years. So was 2021, though, and you were a better team. You were at the top of your division at that point, and no one gave a damn about that team until October. But if you give yourself a chance, and it seems like this team's surging, if you're just being honest, you talk about the Diamondbacks. Which team in the American League right now do you really fear? It's the Orioles. But besides them, I'm not really scared of anybody. There's a there's a path there for the Red Sox to be competitive in the playoffs. And it may just take having a decent deadline to really make them a factor, which is an unbelievable opportunity 
given how little this team did to improve themselves in the offseason. Yeah, and they were so hard they, fast. They have that, such like, a break. Yeah. They've been given such a break in this in this field, in the American League. And so if they choose to not do anything again, which I fully expect them to choose, I expect them to choose the path of doing little or nothing. Because of the offseason, too, and their lack of wanting to go after a big name or just, a big money player. Just the messaging over the last few weeks. Like Alex Cora having to come out and publicly try to shame them into yeah. buying and the yeah, message yeah. you got last night being wishy-washy. He knows you it. know what direction they're it. going in. But yeah. that's why being at nine games over 500, be greedy. Don't leave this to a couple games over 500. You were seven games over 500 no, a year ago. Nine is enough. You're nine, winning the ball back, but on, keep going. Nine is enough. But to keep this is putting enough. the pressure, already keep done going. Enough. They've keep already, going. They've, keep making it harder. Fine, but they've already done enough. I agree. They've, they're already there. But you still have a couple weeks before the deadline, and for a group that is hesitant to buy and didn't believe in this team, you need every ounce of you know wins or whatever it may be to push them. If you can get to 12, 13 games over 500, you got the Royals before the All-Star break, you don't need the world. Just get a little bit. You just need a little help. That's they've it. Enough. They've done enough. That's yeah. That's my conclusion. They've done enough imagine, for now. Imagine yeah. the mental let, letdown if they do nothing. For now, right. but you still got three weeks until the deadline. And so far, you look at what April and June were. You were 15, 10, 15, and 11, and you had a bad month of May. Go out in July, put three or a good month together. That's three out of four months of really good baseball. The path is there. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Zolak and Bertrand here. For more Red Sox analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 985thesportshub.com.